Hello, hello. Welcome to Stacy's Crafty Jam. And I, of course, am Stacy. So happy to be here today. Uh, you know, I, I am, as you can see, it's the Christmas Craft Off 23. Thank you to Rachel and to Bella, her mom, for putting this, uh, this collaboration on. Wow. Uh, over 60 collaborators. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Over 60. It's amazing. Uh, the inspiration that has that I have gotten so far have been has been amazing, so amazing. Uh, and I am so proud uh, to to and honored to be a part of this. Thank you, thank you, Rachel and Bella, and uh, thank you to all of the collaborators that have gone before me. You guys are amazing, and I'm enjoying every bit of it. Looking forward to everybody else's um, makes, but uh, I'm here today. Uh, you know, very proud and honored, like I said, to be a part of this. Uh, today, my uh, we each have the uh, uh, like a partner. I think the last couple of days there's there's two or three. Uh, I think the last day there's th three. So bonus bonus on that last day for hanging in there. Uh, but today is uh, well, my video is on the twentieth, and I am with uh, Melina Pilot. Okay, my hands are shaking. Um, I'm a little on the nervous side because I'm going to tell y'all, uh, Melina and her mama are uh, the scrapbooking with me. They are some of my major go-tos uh, for videos. I, 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 they inspire me so much. And to be on this same day, uh, crafting off with with Melina, uh, yeah, my stomach's doing a little bit of uh, somersaults here. But I'm gonna uh, give this my best. And uh, and the main thing is just to have some fun. Yeah, that's that's the main thing is don't forget to have fun. Yeah, Stacy. So I'm talking to myself here <laughs> and I'm talking to y'all. There are, are loads and loads of prizes, guys. Lots and lots of prizes. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at 26 different 44 digitals, 10 different physical prizes. One of them is my sister and I with a $25 uh, voucher from our, our, our Etsy shop, Stacy's uh, uh, Two Sister Jam. I'm, I'm reading this. It says Stacy's Crafty Jam. That's my channel. That's where you're at today. And then my, my sister and I have the Etsy shop, uh, Two Sister Jam. And uh, yeah, so, but we're only one of many, many people that are, that's doing the prizes. You like and comment on the videos. It would be very helpful if you subscribed and uh, help out everybody. And I know that I've been busy subscribing to some people and enjoying that. And, but yeah. Just, you know, uh, get in and watch these videos and you are in like Flynn uh, for these prizes. Each day we're given um, a prompt and uh, these are the prompts for the first day, 1 through 15, uh, the first the first part of the month. And then the second part of the month is right here. And this is me with Melina and it's Christmas recipes from Granny. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. I had a lot of ideas. I had ideas to do a, a ring bound recipe book, like a flip book, uh, just recipe cards. Uh, but I settled on a cute little project that I'll show you in just a minute. And but that's, that's what I'm going to be bringing you today. Something I'm on this simple side of life these days, <laughs> keeping things in a, in a simple kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, you know, I like to get really complicated with my journals and stuff sometimes, but I think I'm back to basics. So that's where we're going to be at today. But there, are, but she also gives us gorgeous, I mean, breathtaking papers. There is like five kits. There's the, and it's called the Timeless Christmas Collection. There's the shabby backgrounds, love. Uh, there's your Christmas collection. She's got all these, these, um, what do you call them? Uh, collage pages she does, breathtaking. The ephemera add-on, there's a lot of envelopes and tags and fun stuff. And I love, love the fussy cuts. They are everything from little postage stamp things to, uh, you know, little cute mice and angel, just everything, everything. A little gingerbread. And then the background pages are awesome. I love that. So there's like five kits. All of the links will be below. I'm also, there's also going to be a link for, that's a link tree that Rachel and her mom set up that is easy for you to find all of these collaborators. But always know that all you got to do is do hashtag Christmas craft off two, three, 23 Christmas craft off 23. That's your hashtag. And if you pull that up on YouTube, it'll show you everybody, everybody that's, uh, that's, that's had videos. So what are we going to do today? I am going to, it's grandma's recipes, recipes from grandma. 
And you know, I, I was thinking when I when I was thinking about, look, isn't it cute? I love this. I was thinking about this. I, I like to watch uh, Pink Strawberries. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of her. Maybe some of you have. If you haven't, you may need to check her out. She is a lot of fun. She brings you really neat, quick type projects. And she had shown this. It wasn't Christmas related, but she had shown this and it stuck in my head. Uh, uh, I don't even know. It, uh, it might have been a year ago. I don't know when it was I saw it. But anyway, it's this cute little book. And each page, it's four pages. Now, you could do more pages. You could do less pages. Uh, but it's bound together with these eyelets. Now, of course, we'll discuss all that. Uh, you know, there are different binding options. But each one has a pocket. Each each little page has a pocket. And there is your four by six recipe card. Now, I sewed around it. Don't have to sew. I put the pretty uh, uh, collage paper on the back of some uh, the background paper on others. But anyway, each page has a recipe, a place for a recipe card. And I just used a regular uh, index cards uh, that I got from Walmart. I used the four by six size. I think index cards come in three by five too, but this fits a four by six. And I decorated each page a, just a little bit with her fussy cuts. And then in the freebies, uh, Rachel has these words and these sentiments loving them, loving them. And I used, I just decorate, just simple, simple. I told y'all I'm keeping it simple. We could even write something in here or, or, you know, find, find a word from, from the kit that we could pop in here, but I didn't do that. Um, and, and I think these make the best gifts. Look how flat they are. That's really pretty flat. When it, when it, and when you talk about mailing something, if you wanted to mail it, if you were in a recipe swap, uh, maybe groups are doing that. I don't know. I hadn't seen one, but maybe they are. Uh, you want to give this as a gift to a friend, to a relative. I think it, I think that it's awesome. I think I'm going to give this to somebody, somebody I am. And then I, you don't have to decorate each page, but I, I did choose to decorate each, each one of these. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's simple, simple, and it is um, fun to make. Fun. And I, we're going to get to it. Let's, let's get to the getting. All right, what will we need? We're going to need four pieces of, I used 110 pound cardstock because I like it to be sturdy. Uh, you could glue two pieces of your copy paper together. That would be sturdier, uh, you know, but it's up to you. I just used my 110 uh, pound cardstock. I don't know what GSM that is. I've heard y'all talk about that on videos, but <laughs> I'm like, what is a GSM? But uh, yeah, it's 110 from Walmart, 210 pound cardstock. And I just double sided. I used the shabby background. I used the background, the timeless. Uh, I just used a, a plethora of, of options that I got off of all the kits. You'll find these links down below. You're going to want these to be eight and a half by seven and a half, eight and a half by seven and a half, four of those. And what else will you need? You will need some of your index cards. If you're, you know, wanting to put the, the recipe cards in there, you'll need four of your index cards and you'll need paper to put on the backs of the recipe cards. Now, again, you don't have to, you're, you're free to, to do it as you want to. I just liked the first, it started up the index card. And it's pretty. Can't help that. You don't have to sew. I like to sew. Uh, but I just added some sewing to the cards. You'll need some ribbon. You'll need some eyelets. Uh, I used a scoreboard. We're going to use a scoreboard today. But you don't have to use a scoreboard. You can use a ruler, a pencil, and that's all you need. You don't have to have, if you don't have a scoreboard, you're good. You don't, you don't have to have that. So let's get started. I, uh, let's get my scoreboard. Speaking of. And we'll we'll get to making these. Uh, what you want? Let me get out my little my little note for you. If you want to screenshot this or or what? But you'll need your four eight and a half by seven and a half inch pages. Uh, that you know it's good to have them double sided, but of course you don't have to have them double sided. Uh, I just think uh, the overall look of it when you go to fold this to form the pocket. Um, it, it, and when you open this to put the, um, the recipe in it, I, I just like it to be pretty. 
So I did doubles. I did double sided. So there you got the eight and a half by seven and a half, four of those. And we're going to score. Let me do, let me do one page at a time here, Stacy. We're going to score the seven and a half inch side. Let me see if I can move this up. We're going to score the seven and a half inch side at one half and a uh, half inch and six and three quarters inch. So you're going to score at the half inch and the six and three quarters. And what we're doing when we do that, let me, let me see if I can talk and, and score at the same time. <laughs> um, probably not. No. Can you see I got quiet? Okay. So I'm scoring at the six and three quarters. Right. See how quiet I got um, six and three quarters. And what I basically have is a half inch score on, on each side. We got half inch on each side. Okay. Then we're going to flip it to the eight and a half. Now here's where I want to, I want to, I want to mention to you. I used the papers from her kit that were non-directional. And when I say non-directional, I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's this way or that way or this way or that way. It don't matter. I can, I can fold these up and it's not going to matter. The, some of the pages have little girls and writing and whatnot. And when you go to fold them to form the pocket, you know, you'll have this is forward and you know, this is upside down. So I chose non-directional papers, but there is ways to get around that. And maybe you don't even care, you know, but I say that as a note that, uh, you know, I found it. I, I liked the non-directional papers better. So now we're going to score the eight and a half side on a half inch and four and a half. And what we're doing here is we're creating that little tab part. Let me see. I'm, I can't talk and do this. Um, we're creating, this is going to be the tab part. And now this is going to be the four and a half is where the pocket is going to fold. It's going to fold and create that pocket. So there's that. And so let me, let me fold it and, and kind of show you where we're at. Now you're going to do a little bit of cutting. Did I mention you needed scissors? You need scissors. Well, the usual suspects, you know, scissors and glue. But uh, so basically it's going to be folded like this. This is your tab part. This, this part right here is your tab part. This part right here is, is your, you know, where it's going to connect. And then this is going to be your, your, your pocket, but we need to get this where we can make it a pocket. So let's, we're going to, we're going to cut in the middle here, one slit right up, right up to, right up to the score mark. And then I'm going to create a, a little angle here for, for my, for my pocket. You know, when I go to fold this to create the pocket, It'll, it'll come in like that and it won't interfere with anything. We're going to flip that around and we're going to do it again. We're going to create a slit there. We're going to do an angle. And we're going to do an angle. They all hear me get quiet. So here we go. This is what you got. Like that. So see how we're going to cut this off because we don't need it. Because this is the part that is going to be here. And we don't need this. So we're going to open this up and we're going to cut this entire section off. And watch me try to try to do this and, and, and keep talking. I don't know. I don't know, though. It's okay to get quiet in a video, right? Maybe. All right. The other thing we don't need... Is this little is this little square right here? There's a little square right here. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. My lighting may not be so good, but anyway, we don't need this little square that is here. So we're gonna cut that off. Boom shot the locker. So now what we have, oops, it's falling down. Now what we have is this. See, easy breezy. Now one more, one more time. That's the reason I didn't make my scoreboard go away. One more time with the scoreboard. We're going to flip this around because my scoreboard, my inches are down at the bottom. This is centimeters. 
I don't know centimeters. I'm all from Texas, USA. So I want to I want to uh, score this. I want to score the tab part on the three, and I only want to score to the score line. I'm gonna. Uh, well, I don't know if you can see. Dad, write it. Let me see here. There we go. We're gonna score. Sorry, took y'all for a little ride. We're gonna score at the three, and we're only scoring to the score line. And the reason we're doing that. We're scoring the tab at three. And the reason we're doing that is because we want this dead center in the middle. And we want to cut a slit there. And now we need to determine, do I want my tab on the right or the left? And I'm going to make this one on the right. So I'm going to cut away the left part. So we'll just cut away that left part, and that leaves us a tab on the right. Gosh, I hope I'm explaining this right. All right, now we're gonna make we're gonna make. Uh, I, I like to angle these so they look more tabish. <laughs> That's not a word. That's not a word, Stacy. But there you have it. So let's do it again, and hopefully it's going to start making sense to you. But that's one. Let's do two. Isn't this paper pretty? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Good job, Rachel. Okay, we're on the seven and a half side. We're on the seven and a half side, and we're going to score. Yeah, my scoreboard's weird. My, my inches are down at the bottom. I have to do from the bottom and not the top. Isn't that weird? I don't know why it's like that. Okay, and so we are memory keepers. I don't know. So it was the half inch and the six and three quarters because these are the those little side tabs. Then we're going to the eight and a half side where it's eight and a half long, and we're scoring that. And see how I don't have to worry about which way this paper goes? I don't have to worry because this is it's good whether it's upside down or not. But if you've got directional paper, you know, you want to pay attention to, to where you're doing. Because this is going to, this this part right here is going to be folding up. All right. So we want to score at the half inch on the left. And since I don't have to worry about my direction, uh, but if I did, then uh, I would I would need to determine which 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 side I want to do this on. And then we're scoring at the four and a half. And voila, we have done it again. And then I like to I like to score these a little bit so we can kind of see what we're doing. Or bend them, fold them, so I can kind of see what I'm doing. It helps me when I go to when I go to cut. All right, we're cutting the slit. All right, see how this is right now? This is our tab part at the top. Uh, here on this left, we want to cut that slit right in the middle. And then we want to angle our, our what's going to be our pocket. And then we want to turn it around. And we want to cut the slit right in the middle. We want to angle that bottom part there. Because that's going to be our pocket. Like so. Again, we don't need this part. So we're cutting this right part off and you're going to do this four times or however many times you want. Maybe you don't want four pages in your book. You know, I like, I like the four pages, but you, you do, you do, you, you do, you, you want to put six pages in there. I mean, Lord knows. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure eight pages would fit in there too. Uh, and then we're cutting that little, that little square off that we don't need because again, uh, because again, this is how it's going to be. This is where our eyelets go right here. And now we need to create the tab. So we're going to bring this like this to my scoreboard. And we're, we're scoring in half at three, right to the score line. We don't want to go past that score line. So we, we made a score mark right there. 
And this page, I want the last page, I did the tab on the right. This page, I'll do the tab on the left. So that means I cut right here at that score mark I just made. And I want to cut off that right side. If I fold it, it helps me see it. And we'll cut that off. And then we're going to angle this so they kind of look tabish. Hee <laughs> hee. That's my word. It's my word for the day. The word that don't make no blooming sense. Okay. Now we've done the two. Yada yada. And then see how these are going to fit together. And I already have two already done because I didn't want to make you sit here all blooming day with me. <laughs> so looky here. This is what we have. So I got the tab. I like to, to do the tabs. Uh, this is on the right. This is on the left. This is on the right. This is on the left. Let me see. I think I want to put this one in the back. And I'm going to bring this one up. That's how I'm going to do this. You know, you determine how you want, want yours to fit. But there you go. Now, we're done with our scoreboard because I've already magically, magically, uh, all four are done. <laughs> you watched me do two and I already had two done. All right. I, you don't have to do this, but I like, I like it inked and distressed. So, I'm going to ink around all... This is my front one, so I'm going to ink ink the tabby part here. And then I want my little pocket area to inked. It's easier to ink. I, I, I know this from experience, to ink before you glue. <laughs> uh, I didn't do that on my last, on the, on the, on the, the prototype ones. And uh, yeah, it, it, it was interesting, but I got it done. I did get it done. You know, where there's a will, there's a way, right? But I think I was thinking about this grandma's thing, this this um, when I was trying to think of ideas and stuff. And I, when my grandmother passed many many years ago, her recipes were the most wanted commodity that she had. This is already inked. This is already inked, so we'll ink this one while I keep yapping. And we went and had. Uh, photocopies made of all of my grandmommy's recipes. And uh, yeah, uh, so you could take these recipe cards that we're putting in here and you could take magazine. Uh, you know how magazines have recipes. My grandmother used to cut those out of the Southern living and um, you could put those on your, on your recipe card. You could write family recipes, you know, for your friends or whoever you're giving this to um, or your recipe swap or whatever this is, this is going to be for. And uh, uh, you know, any, or you could leave them blank. I think I'm, I think my, my plan is to, to make everything go right side up, Stacy now. Okay. Right side up, Stacy now. What are you doing? All right. So we have the tab on the right tab on the left tab on the right tab on the left. So we're together. I need to glue my pockets. I'm just going to use the glue that's always handy for me, and that is Fabri-Tac. You use your art glitter. Uh, I, I imagine a glue stick would work too, actually. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, but Fabri-Tac is always the, the glue at, at my handy handy. Um, I need to get some more art glitter my art glitter went bad. I didn't know glue could go bad, but here in Texas, we get pretty hot. And I think my glue got hot <laughs> because it is runny as water. Um, it's, it's not, it's, it's a, it's a hard to use now. All right. So I just have fabric. Tape. So there's that. That one is a pre-done one already glued. I need to glue this one. And you don't, again, you don't have to ink. And quite frankly, these papers are gorgeous, gorgeous. And if you're using, you know, of course, you don't have to use these papers. But if you did, then, you know, really, you don't even have to decorate. But, you know, isn't that the funnest part? I think. 
I think it is. So we're going to decorate these a little bit. Not, not too much. Because I don't want it to be too bulky, you know. So there we go. We've made our little book. And see how easy, easy that is. So we want to get these. I don't want my glue to dry up. So let me put my topper on. Okay. We want these to... I'm using my little clip. I always feel official when I use my little my little quick clips. All right. So I, I kind of uh, uh, I put those together. Make sure they're all even all the way around. So now they're held together. And I need to decide on my eyelets. I have these little cute square eyelets. And I have white. And I have black. I don't know. I hadn't decided which of these I want to use. I know I want to use these square ones. I don't know. I think I'm going to use white. I think white would look better. I don't know, though. Ooh. You know what? I don't know. I wish somebody was here right now to tell me. I think the white is too white. I think it's white. Is that such a word? Is that such a phrase? I'm going to use the black. We're going to go for it. So, now binding. You can three hole pamphlet stitch this. You can punch a hole and put ribbon in it. You could punch a hole and put rings. There is just a, a plethora of ideas, you know, that you could, you know, do. I'm doing eyelets. I like the way the eyelets kind of bind it together and I'm just eyeballing, uh, but I punched my hole here. And I'm going to punch a hole here. Oops. There it is. And I'm going to put my, my eyelets in there. I'm going to, because it's their square, i got to make sure they're straight. Get it right, Stacey. Get it right. I mean, I could, they could be diamonds, but I don't want it to do that. Okay. Oh, I'm going to hold my breath and hope these work out good. Because I don't know about these eyelets. I don't know what brand they are or nothing. Hey. Hey, that worked good. I felt it. I felt it do. Oh, my goodness. That's good. Oh, they're flat on the back. I, my sister gave me these. Oh, well, that kind of moved on me. Dad read it. Oh, I think that's in. Oh, well, we're just going to we're going to just not look at it. We're not going to we're not going to think about it, Stacy. Now. It moved on me. All right. So, I think this ribbon is adorable. So, let's use... The, it's the same ribbon I used on that last one. But it is so cute. It's cute. So, I'm going to use it on this one, too. I love I love that little checkered gingham thing. Again, more ribbon I got from my sister. She gives me everything. Love you, sis. All right. Hey, do you want one of these books? I'll make you one. I, th I bet my sister would love one of these books. All right. In fact, I know she would. Shh, don't tell her. Don't tell her I'm going to make her one. <laughs> She's watching. Ah, oh, Dad read it. Okay. So, now all we got to do is do the decorating. I probably cut off way too much ribbon. Oh, well. Oh, well, and I'm not the best bow maker on the planet, guys. It's really a struggle. <laughs> it's a struggle being me and bows. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me see if I can do it. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right. Help me, Jesus. All right. Oh, that's cute. That's cute as a bug in a rug. I'm not sure why bugs in the rug are cute, but they are. In Texas, they are. Okay. Uh, now. Here are the cards, and I, like you, like I said, I I sewed around them, and all I did is I took the the index card and I backed it with pretty paper. Again, I used cardstock uh, because I like it to be really sturdy. And I'm figuring if somebody's going to write recipes on here, uh, you know, you're going to have butter and and sugar and salt and flour and all kinds of all kinds of stuff, right? So you just put those in there, bim, bam, and that's all you do. Now, I made 
four. I made three of these before before we came on because I didn't want to keep y'all with the with the simple simple stuff. But here is a four by six index card. And honestly, I think I trimmed these just a tad. In fact, I know I did. I trimmed like maybe a sixteenth of an inch off each side because I really want to have an ease of sliding in and out. Now on that other one, I did not do that. So it, four by six actually fits in there, but I liked the ease of, of sliding in. So I, I, I did trim off a little bit of my index card. And here is a pretty piece of the timeless collection paper. Uh oh, I need more glue stick. Um, I'll make it through this one card. This one card will make it. You can do it. All right. And I liked, I love, 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 love her, um, her collage pages. Gorgeous. So beautiful. Okay. Oh, get this on straight. All right. Okay. See, I'll get quiet. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. So, you know, I mean, like, look. All you do is back the index card with some, I used cardstock. Of course, you use whatever you want. You don't have to even back it. That's up to you. And this one, we're not going to sew on because I'll show you that it's just as nice when you don't sew. I like them inked. I like that distressed look. But you do, you do you. You don't have to ink. And I chose a uh, vintage photo uh, because I, I'm just this creature of habit. And that's, <laughs> that's just the, the ink I use 24 seven. It would be, it would have been fun if I'd have pulled out my, my greens or something, Stacy nail, but I didn't, I didn't, I just stuck with the vintage photo. Um, but it don't matter what ink you use. You, you do, you make yours however you want, you know? And I am just so grateful for all of the inspiration, like for Pink Strawberries and, you know, for Melina Pilot and, and Scrapbooking With Me, Gail Agostinelli, Rachel, Line Dot Arrow, uh, The Brown Dragonfly. I mean, on and on, Seven Plaza. I mean, I could, I, I know I'm missing people, but these are just the folks that, I mean, I, I can't get enough of them. You know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, but you have your yours that, that, that inspire you too. And I have to tell you, I'm very grateful for watching pink strawberries and for her, her idea to pop up in my head when it came to this, this prompt. So see, it looks fine whether you sew on it or whether you don't, I like the sewing, but you know, there was a time when I didn't, when I didn't stitch nothing. Uh, but that's not today. I will probably go back and stitch this. So now what you don't have to decorate, because look how pretty that is. It, this is a precious all on its own. You don't have to decorate, but, you know, we're junk journalers, so, so let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's, let's add a little ump to it. I don't know if we'll decorate all four pages. I'm watching the time. So what I did is I got my little handy, handy, I, I sat here. I don't, I don't have a, a, a Cricut or a scan and cut. I, I am an old-fashioned cutter girl. <laughs> and so I cut these little bad babies all by myself. I'm so proud of myself. And I did doubles. Okay, so let's look and see what we want. I, oh, I love that bow. I'm going to use that bow. That blends in. Why don't we... I liked the gingerbread because it's, it's uh, Christmassy. But I want something to really stand out. So let me, there's my word. And I'm looking, looking, looking. Ooh, here's my gingerbread house. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. And then what if, what if we use some of these little postage stamp thingy dudes? Look at these cute little postage stamps. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still a looking. What is this? No. 
I love the labels that she has in here. All of these, all of these labels. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like this postcard. See, I, I, I just, I have too many options. Too many options, Stacey. Now, pick one and quit him on around. Okay, maybe I just want to do that, and I don't want to do anything else. I don't know. So this is where I get into trouble, trying to decide. Trying to decide. Oh, that's precious. Okay, that's happening. That's happening. Do I like that? Nope. Well, I do, but not with this. Okay. So let's do that. We're going to ink all of these little pieces. That's one of the words that are on those freebies. Y'all got to go get the freebies. I'm going to put the links to all of the Rachel's and Rachel and Bella's um, freebies. I'll put the links down to that too. But y'all go get these papers and play. You have this month and next month too, you know. Why not? Let's all just play. Play, play, play Christmas. All right. I w I've thought about having some Christmas music playing, but I don't want to get cut off. I don't want, I don't want them to say, hey, you know, you don't own the rights. Well, you're right. You're right. I don't own the rights to music. All right. So I'll I'll um I'll be good. All right. I like that. I like that. And on the front page, I don't have to worry about the um the bulk, you know. Now on the other pages, I kind of I'm gonna be mindful about the bulk, you know. But on these pages, on the front pages, I don't have to be mindful about the bulk. I can do what I want because uh, the front can be as bulky as I want because I'm a bulky kind of girl. I'm not kidding. I will bulk up everything, everything. All right. And I like it when it's all, when it's all like tattered like that. Oh my gosh. Isn't that pretty? I like it. Okay. What if I put that down here instead of up here? Okay, and then, okay, I, second thought, I'm liking this, and I'm doing this like this. I'm going to back that on some cheesecloth, I think. Yep, this is me not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> just, just it, on a wing and a prayer, guys. Wing and a prayer. That's my crafting style. Okay. But you decorate yours if you choose to make these however you want. You know? I like the layering. And I love the stringy stuff. That's my that's my jam. For sure, my jam. Okay. Let me bring this down. Okay. I like that. Ooh la la. I do like that. She's a cutie patootie. Cutie patootie. All right. Now, this is going to go on some cheesecloth. Let me find some cheesecloth here. Do you want that cheesecloth or do I want the this cheesecloth? I think I want this one. I think I want this one. And then we'll look at another page, and I may not decorate all four pages Well, with y'all. It don't take long to decorate them, but, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to keep y'all. Y'all, y'all know, you get, you kind of get the drift of where we're going. I think you're picking up what I'm throwing down today. Maybe. I hope. <laughs> But if you don't have the, um, what do you call it? The scoreboard, then just um, use your ruler, draw a line, and, um, you know, and, and, and do it that way. You don't have to have the scoreboard. The scoreboard just helps. It, it, it does make it go a little faster. And then, like, if you were going to make these, these are a pretty good thing where if you wanted to make several of them for Christmas gifts, the scoreboard just would help 
you know, if you were making several of them, you know. I think it would. All right. Oh my goodness, I think it's cute. Oh, I like it. She's cute. See, that one can be bulky. That's probably too that I think that's too bulky for the um for like the inside, but it's not too bulky. Oh my goodness, look at that. That bow is gonna be perfect. Perfect and perfect. And do I like a little mouse? Oh, he stands out really good. But there's some presents in here. And let me look at the presents. Oh, yes. And then let's look at a word. I like that. Let's look at a word. that I could put right there. And let me see here. What if I did, I don't want that, oh, a cozy. What if I did cozy? Let's, let's do that one. I could do tradition. I'm going to look at Cozy first. I love these words, Rachel. Good job on these. And I printed these out on that on that 110-pound cardstock. Because, you know, it gives them a little bit of stability. I was watching Brown Dragonfly yesterday. I loved your tip on the how to raise things with the cardboard. Good, good, good thinking. I think she got that from... Miss Kerr. Okay. Let me see how I want to do this. I think I like it just like that. I'm I'm good. I'm good with that just like that. I am. So let's let's ink it all up. And again, you could get out your pretty inks. I just, I don't know. I'm just this creature of habit. The older I get, the the more I find myself just keep doing the same things all the time. <laughs> I don't know. It's not a bad thing if you're doing good things all the time. You know, <laughs> it's the bad habits we want. We don't want to keep doing. Yeah. All right. And again, inking is a choice too. You know, I just like that look myself all right i like that and i like that and i like that like that i'm just trying to I'm just moving it moving it moving it all right i'm going to not back this i don't think i don't know what if I back this on some lace? This is some of my two sister lace. No, I don't like that. I'm not going to back that. That's just going to go on there. And I'm going to back this on some cheesecloth. Just this kind of cheesecloth. Yep. I'm going to rough cut this. I kind of like that. That whole rough cut look. Oops. Everything's sticking to me. All right. Oh, I like that. And what else I got over here? I've got some goldy uh, lace stuff over here that I haven't from my shop. I went and raided my shop. And what if... I did a little something like that. Let me get that out of the way. Put a little, look at that. Look at that. Can you see that gold the way it 
shimmers. That's lovely. And then I did a little something like that. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Hold the presses. And again, doing a little roughy cut on it, not, not so straight. And I think I'll decorate the rest of these on my own. Yep. But you get the idea of this cute, precious little book. I think the book is a little precious. And I think my good friends are going to enjoy them. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to make several of these is what I'm going to do. Yep. Well, you know, I've already made two now. They're, they're really quick. I like this gold. All right. We're just going to put this down. And these are all from the Fussy Cuts. And then all of these pages that I used are either from the Shabby, the Background, or the Timeless Collection. But of course... You know, you can use any papers you want. But the links for these kits are going to be below. And they're 40% off. Can't beat that. Can't beat that with a stick. So that link will be below for you. Y'all check out Melina today. If you haven't already. And uh, yeah, give her a look-see. And do give all of the videos a like and a comment. And if you do that on all the videos, then you're um, you're in the drawing for all of those prizes. The there's the the digitals and the physical prizes. My shop is in it. My sister and I shop is in it. The two sister jam, the two sister jam shop link is going to be below too, guys. If you're interested in laces, vintage items, you know you might want to check that out. We've got some pretty cool stuff. But this is the book I made before we came on. I think it's adorable, adorable, adorable. They are so easy, so easy. And uh, I like the way, and then I'm going to decorate this one, and I'm going to decorate this one, and I'm going to sew because I can't stand it. I got I to gotta sew on this, but you don't have to. You know, you, you just put your recipe on there. I'm going to leave these blank for, my, for the people I'm giving this to. I personally, but if you were doing a recipe swap, You'd want to you want to put recipes on there. Anyway, there it is. That is the today's um, collaboration. My my take on the craft off for Grandma's recipes. Yay! Thank you so much, uh, Rachel and Bella, for including me. And I'm always honored to to be a part. And uh, very very nervous. I'm looking forward to seeing what Melina's doing. I was gonna text her or message her and say, Hey, I'm doing this, this, and this. But then, you know, I mean, she's, a, she's kind of probably busy and I don't know. So I didn't do it. Anyway, I was too nervous. I was too nervous to, to message her. But anyway, I can't wait to see what she's going to do. Tomorrow is Kara Brandon and playing with paper and glue. We got Antonio makes WW designs. It goes on and on nonstop. Yay. Line.arrow. Yay. Carrie Griffiths, yay. Tracy Fox, yay. Oh my gosh, it goes on and on. Y'all don't miss what is happening. What is happening? If you if you can binge watch them and uh and get in on, on those to so that you can get in on these prizes. All the links for these gorgeous papers are gonna be below. What else? Oh, and I did I did, you know, if you're new to Stacey's Crafty Jam, thank you. Thank you. I'm honored. Uh you know, I'd, I'd like to say that, uh, you know, life is is just a, a bowl of cherries all the time, but it's not. And we that's why we craft. That's why we craft, guys. So oh, I'm very, very grateful to have you here today. Give it a like and a comment. And I'm just so grateful. So grateful for y'all. Happy holidays. It'll be Thanksgiving in a couple of days here in Texas, USA. I'm going to go to my sister's and eat. Yes, I am. Thank y'all so much. Oh, tomorrow is my daughter's birthday, guys. Happy birthday, baby girl. I don't know if she'll see this because I don't know how many of my videos she watches, but happy birthday to you. She's going to be 38, guys. Oh, my daughter is, is gorgeous and amazing. I love you, darling. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.